What's up guys, it's Manga Time once again. I'm here today to bring you my review of Bleach 567, Dance with Snow White. Oh god, I feel a rant coming on. Okay. The, the, the chapter is the battle between Rukia and Az. And it starts with him. It basically starts with As not going. You know that it, it's not possible that fear doesn't work. And essentially, that's all he says through the entire chapter. Is that's not possible. That's not possible. Over, over, and over, and over again. Um, and Rook is like, if you think that's not possible, try, try piercing me again. Look and fear. This is the real Sodeno Shiryuki. And at this point, I was just like, oh, for Christ's sake, Kubo. Because honestly, I could. I could buy it with Renji, but he's if he's really going this whole the Zarpokto was lying to you again route, it's just Honestly it's lazy. Um We've already seen it once. Why are we gonna why are we So okay, then we get we get this pretty cool chapter cover page with Rookie on it, whatever. And then as not sends a bunch of thorn arrow thorns her way and she just catches it and he's like he's like you know um he basically belittles her for her her arrogance which he should do and he's like you know it's funny that you can say that when you were running from them a moment ago and uh she's freezing them and Asnot has this totally deadpan look on his face which is just brilliant it's actually kind of funny um, for the most part, my facial expressions, I imagine, were quite similar to as is, as they were going along, until he goes a bit mental. But they're, they're, like, like, here, he's looking, like, just kind of bored, and like, this is stupid. That's kind of exactly what I was thinking. Um, but yeah, basically, again, it's just as not going, it can't be stopped, it can't be stopped. He then goes off on his monologues that he like he did against Biakia. He's talking about you know when he's talking about like you know when if if you go to a place, um, oh, okay, he says thing he says things like you know people don't know why they might want to um like keep living, but they do know they do know why they wouldn't want to die. It's because fear is associated with death, uh, and safety is associated with life. He's basically saying that. Everyone knows. He's basically saying that fear is linked to death. I think he's essentially implying that he's going to kill her, and he's also saying that you know, you know, as long as Rookie is alive, there's no way fear doesn't affect her. Very cool picture of Az there. I have to say the artwork is really great in this chapter. Um, that's a, and As not is just a great character. He's the saving grace of an otherwise terrible chapter. Um, he basically says, you know, there's no way, as long as you're alive, there's no way if fear doesn't work. And then this is when Rukia comes out with her next spout of bullshit, when she's like, I'm currently not alive. And Aslock gives the best facial reaction ever. He's, he basically just kind of goes, and I think that's collectively what everyone did when she said that. Um, God, it's such... It's like Kubo's pulling stuff out of his ass. At the last moment to just... It's like... It's so convenient. We... Right. And I have to say that while I love this final arc, this final arc has been doing this an awful lot. And a lot of the time I've been able to buy it. But in these kind of battles it's getting really old. Like now apparently Sodo no Shiryuki is not a Snow's Armpark Toe. It's, just, it's a Temperature's Armpark Toe. And it and her body has been taken below freezing point. Okay. So how come she's not breaking apart if she should be frozen? That doesn't make any sense. As not like stop saying nonsense. See, look, he's he's saying right there. He's saying you won't be able to survive, and she's and she doesn't give any explanation for it other than I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I, I learned to momentarily kill my body. Like, what does that even mean? By controlling my own reishi. I mean... Okay. 
So as not lands on the floor behind her, and it doesn't make any sense. Literally, Kubo doesn't give any explanation for it, or other than as not that doesn't that's not possible. Over and over and over again, Ruki is like all the molecules inside this body are currently stopped. Even the fear that permeated my body is blocked on the surface. So basically, the fear makes contact, but it doesn't go any. It doesn't actually touch her because it's frozen. Basically, I think, like, and then and she then appears next to him, and you know, and, and it looks cool enough. And then she got she attacks him, and she cuts, she cuts his shoulder, and nothing comes out. And and she says minus eighteen degrees, blood freezes. So Asnot's like, oh Christ! And and then a he's standing there. And then there's this massive earthquake, um, and Ruki is like at minus 50 degrees, the water in the ground freezes, and we get an ice quake. Um, so Asnot rushes at her, and I have to admit that despite my serious issues with this chapter, I do quite like this part from an artistic standpoint. Um, Ruki uh, drops her attacks to below freezing, and she says that she can only move for four seconds, I presume before dying or freezing herself, I don't know. God knows. And Asnot jumps at her, but he gets frozen com frozen where he stands, basically. And they do a, one of those typical anime crosses where, you know, they rush past each other. And Asnot ends up frozen to the ground. Uh, and and as he's, fro as he's freezing, he's like, is this fear? Is this fear? Um, and that's the end of the chapter. It's bad. I, 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 I it's bad. This, this... I mean, from last week, I was oh, I was thinking, there's no way this chapter, this fight can end without me being pissed off, um, and it's a lo it's convenient, it's so convenient, um, and it's just rubbish. It's just rubbish, actually. Um, Rukia, it's such bullshit. She completely no sells his fear through through utter bullshit. Um, and okay, if I'm gonna be honest, I I I put some I put some faith in Kubo, but As is not dead yet. And Rukia will walk away thinking she's won, and then boom, he'll Volston dig, and he'll break out of the ice. But you know, at the same time, it's not looking good. Um, why? I mean, how is Master Masculine going to get a six-chapter fight and then Kubo kills Azov after two? I don't understand why Kubo would waste such a character. I mean, he could have given him a decent fight. Uh, I'm just pissed. I'm pissed. Like, I'm not even pissed because... Well, I am pissed off because I'm a fan of Asnot. But it's also the fact that it's so convenient. This is... There's not even an explanation given. This is this is literally the um, area of Miyuri level uh, convenience. When he's like, this is like Miyuri when he's when he says, um, "I can remove my organs," and Zale goes, "That's not possible. You should be dead." And the only explanation we get is, "But I'm here." That's literally what Rookie is saying. Um, and that is ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. So again, this is one of those chapters that really depends on the next few. Or even just next week as to how much I actually. Well, I I don't like this chapter, but as you know, as to how it looks in comparison, it all depends on next week. Um, was the, basically I I didn't like one half of the chapter, and that was Rukia, um, which is a shame because I was really looking forward to seeing her fight properly. Really thought she was going to have a bank. I frankly that would have made more fucking sense than this rubbish. Um, uh, and the good half of the chapter was as his art, as always, is great. Fantastic character design. Um, and actually, just some of the bat battle art looked pretty good as well. Like like when they were rushing past each other. Um, and the picture when there's the earthquake looks cool as well. Um, and, you know, Rookie does look pretty cool sometimes. Like when she says, I can't move, and she's holding a sword like that. That's, that's cool. Um, but frankly, it was disappointing as hell. Um... Yeah, really, really disappointing. I'm, I'm so disappointed. If he's dead, then it's just one of the biggest wastes of a character I've ever seen. I, and it, and it, it's not like he was even a good fight. It was, it was another 
and this is something else that's really disappointing me as well, um, mainly about this final arc, is that it's just lopsided battles. There's no even anymore. Someone just has to get their ass kicked. It happened to Mask against Renji, but then Mask was kicking ass before, and there was no, there was no back and forwards. And now Rukia comes down and completely wastes Asnot, apparently. So, yeah, I'm disappointed. Um, panel of the week, I don't know, I guess Asnot. Maybe a close-up of the face. But I don't know, let me know what you thought about the chapter below. That's kind of all I've got to say, really. I'm disappointed. Um, I'm going to drop a uh, 5 on this chapter. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more, guys. And just tell me, did you actually like this chapter? What do you think of the whole Rukia thing? But other than that, guys, I'll, I'll catch you next week, I suppose. Until then, I'll see you later.